Hello everyone and welcome back to another video here on 111 Brick Reviews 111. My name is Joe and uh, how appropriate I'm doing a Lego review on my brick reviewing channel finally. I don't know how long it's been but I, ha I could not skip this one. This is the brand new Lego Wonder Woman set. Wonder Woman Warrior Battle. It is set number 76075. It is ages 6 through 12 and it is 286 pieces. It does come with three minifigures, kind of, and uh, it's so great. It's $29.99, I got mine at Toys R Us. You can get it right now. A lot of Toys R Us's are, or a lot of different uh, retail stores are kind of like putting up their big Wonder Woman fixtures and stuff like that with um, some signage and stuff, so I had to go to the back room to get this one. But uh, they should be all out now. And then I saw like the one that Toys R Us has into a really nice display. So it's so cool to see how much love the Wonder Woman is getting as far as its merchandising um, sort of representation in retail stores. But anyways, uh, so this set is just, it's really simple but it's so great. I'm so, so happy that LEGO is making this set for this movie because I think this movie is so awesome and so important and I'm very excited. So let's go ahead and get on with the minifigures. Okay, so the first minifigure I have is Wonder Woman and she is amazing. This is such a great minifigure and uh, it, it's almost, it's exactly the same as the one we got in the BVS sets but she has a much more vibrant and colorful uh, costume here. It's an amazing costume. I love it so much. And so yeah, so basically we have like an amazing leg printing, she has her sword and her shield that's printed for this movie, she has two different shields, uh, one that she got in BVS and then the other one, she has this wonderful strap that goes across so she can have like her stuff hanging from her back, um, which she does feature some back printing, so let's take that off and she has like the double sided head where she's a little bit more smiley, a little bit more happy, but I love the fierce sort of look on her a lot better. So that's very cool, and then she has her little bracelets on the side, and of course um, the wraparound skirt, and the Wonder Woman logo on her belt, and it's overall a great minifigure. And then she has her tiara up there, and she didn't get a lasso in this one, but that's okay. That's okay, I'll, I'll give it that. But this is a great minifigure, but she also does sport something else. And then they also give you this uh, hooded and uh, this hood and little cape for her as she has in the movie. I think the one that she has in the movie is more black. I don't know. This one kind of looks more like some concept art that she had for BVS. But it's cool. I mean, it's not something that I would uh, keep her in if I were to keep her in if I were to display this minifig. Uh, I would kind of keep her in that hair because I love that hair piece. But it's pretty cool. I mean, it's great for like a little play feature, a little role play. Um, however you want to do that. I think that's it's a cool nice little added thing uh, since you're paying 30 bucks I mean they might as well throw in as many little accessories as they can but anyways that is it for Wonder Woman so let's get on to Steve Trevor. Alright and the next minifigure we have is Steve Trevor played by Chris Pine uh, it's you know let's just jump right into him it looks like a, he's it's a good minifigure I mean that torso is really good he's a World War One spy so this attire looks great he has like that nice wool um, sort of uh, scarf there in the jacket. Uh, they did reuse a head from a previous superhero uh, line, but you know, whatever. I mean, it, it's, it works. I mean, there's different things on this earth to complain about, but I think it works. I mean, it's fine. Uh, I'm just thankful that they're having this character like introduced to people all around the world, and that's just awesome because I love Steve Trevor. And then they have like this Superman hair, but in brown, so that's really cool. And he does feature a helmet. That's like a piloting helmet. Again, kind of like Wonder Woman, not something I would sport him in. But, you know, just an added thing if once if you want to play with him in the um, in the plane. In his little plane. That's, you know, cool. He does come with a gun and brown pants, the back of his jacket, and then he also has like a more like laid back smile, smirk sort of face. So, great minifigure. Um, I love him. Steve Trevor. Cannot wait to see the movie. And that is awesome. Alright, so the last minifigure is the big fig of Ares, and this is very controversial because this is like a spoiler, I guess, because they haven't shown him really uh, in detail in marketing. I mean, Lego has had a version of Ares, and then also the multiverse action figures had like a little put together of Ares, but here he is. He's very cool. I love Lego doing these big figs. So this, it's just really cool and creative. I wish they did this a long time ago with other things. It's so freaking cool. And he has like his giant sword and his shield, which are sort of pieced together on there. 
and then on his torso area we have some sticker pieces and he has like this nice armor and then he's you know the guard of, god of war and he has this little little ropes there with the little metal rings on there which is cool his head is awesome that is a printed piece but his skull uh, helmet is stickers up there really amazing design i cannot wait to see what he looks like in the actual movie i'm trying to keep that a surprise i'm i'm kind of i'm staying away from the rest of the marketing material i'm going to see the movie I'm just, I'm done watching TV spots because I'm tired of TV spots ruining movies for me. I mean, it's great to show on TV for regular moviegoers to be like, hey, that's Wonder Woman. But for me, who lives and dies for these movies, I'm done watching material. So, it's very cool. I mean, I love him. I mean, he has a nice little detail armors on his shoulders, some sort of red, so I guess he's going to have some sort of fire power to him. The action figure, he has like a red sword, so it's going to be very interesting. And then the legs, you know, it mimics a Lego minifigure so well. I have the giant man. It's still in the box, so I haven't built him to see sort of how they how they've done these before. So this was new to me, and I love it. Alrighty, so last we have Steve Trevor's plane. Uh, it's a very basic, um, you know, World War One sort of plane. It's very cool. It has a lot of stickers, a little engine piece on the front there uh, for the little propeller. There is a sticker. Let's see if we can get a closer look at that. That is a sticker, and it comes with two little stud shooters up front. Uh, I don't think that that's very smart to have a gun that can shoot out your... Uh, anyways, uh, I'll, I'll let that be up to you. Um, and then you have the little sort of control panel in there, and then a little cockpit for Steve to sit in. And he just goes in like that, and there's a little trans windshield piece right there. Some stickers that say JR90. This little fin back here that moves back and forth to help um, sort of give it direction. And then it does have a landing mechanism where it has these little wheel pieces and then another wheel back here so it can kind of have like an incline whenever it rolls. So this part's, you know, sort of angled up for takeoff. So that's really cool. And then, yeah, it's just a basic plane, uh, of course. Uh, I guess I must have fired the missiles that that flew off. And it has one more play feature. Where is it? It is on the bottom here. You have flick fire missiles also that shoot out that are just, just little basic missiles or little guns that sit on the bottom there. So very cool. I cannot wait to see this scene in the movie, um, of course, and you have a style. It's a very nice plane. Some people are complaining about it, but I think it's nice. Those are stickers. Um, so anyways, that is it for this set. So let's get on to the conclusion of the review. Well, that is it, everyone, for this review. I hope you all enjoyed uh, this set as much as I do. I do think it's a recommend go out and buy it, uh, if, especially if you're a DC fan. But if, uh, you know, you're just sort of, you know, on the fence, I still think Wonder Woman's an amazing character. And the, just the vibrant costume that they have is it's such an amazing costume, like I said. And then to have it in the more vibrant colors is just amazing if you guys didn't really like the sort of the darker colors for um, the Zack Snyder's Batman v Superman and Justice League costume. If you would prefer to get this one. And uh, the Ares, the big fig Ares is just amazing. I love how Lego like figured this out. I don't know why it took him so long and it's just so cool. So anyways, and you, I hope you guys all enjoyed this review. If you did, please leave a like. Comment down below. What do you guys think? Do you think Lego kind of... Uh, messed up on having a big spoiler, I guess, or do you think this set is really cool? It's a good value. I want to hear it So tell me in the comments below and I will make sure to try to read and reply to them And then also subscribe for more videos here on this channel where we'll be doing uh, What once the summer kicks up? I have a really awesome idea as of right now I have every single Lego superhero set that they've ever made like retail standards sets not like you know the Mighty Micros or the Comic-Con exclusives. No, I don't have those. I don't have time for that. But I have all the, like, the regular standard retail issue ones, and I want to do a video on that. I don't have them all built, per se, but I have all the boxes, and I think I could do something really fun and awesome with that for to kick off the summer, and so I might be doing that, so that might be really cool, because that's unique. I mean, I haven't really seen anyone do it, so hopefully by the time... I, I've been planning on doing it for a while, and uh, every time I want to plan it, more sets come out, and blah. So by the time I get to it, like the Spider-Man Homecoming sets are probably going to be out. I'm going to have to get those for the video. But anyways, uh, I'm going to go before I ramble on uh, you guys to death. And thank you guys for watching. We'll see you next time. Bye.